Hi everyone, Lewis from Vev here, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through how you can build a slick horizontal scrolling website in Vev in under four minutes without having to write a single line of code. So let's jump into it. Horizontal scrolling websites offer a fresh and interesting way to display your content, guiding readers through an unusual sideways experience. Horizontal scrolling is especially good for things like timelines that we're used to consuming left to right, but they're also great at introducing clever visual breaks in long form content and injecting fluidity into any design. This all might sound quite complicated, but with Bev, you don't need weeks, a huge budget, or a team of developers in order to build one. While you can code a horizontal scroll container using CSS or React, we've created a ready to use horizontal scroll section in Vev to save you the effort. Once you've opened up the project, just hit M on the keyboard to access the app menu and search for horizontal scroll section. Then click anywhere on the canvas to add it to your design and get styling. Now it's important to note for the horizontal scroll effect to work, you need to place at least two of these sections back to back. However, when you first insert horizontal scroll onto your project, it will automatically add two sections to the canvas. Inside the design editor, these sections will appear vertically stacked, but if we publish or hit preview, we can see that the sections will work as expected. I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this e-commerce landing page that uses horizontal scrolling to show off customer testimonials. Now, I'm gonna go in and create a third section here. In each of the horizontal scroll sections, we'll showcase separate quotes from the customers. In this first section, I'm going to introduce a header and add the company name and set that to an H2 tag. In a separate line, I'm gonna write as told by our customers and set this to H3. Then over on the right hand side in the style panel, I'm gonna select the size, font and color. I'm gonna add a rectangle in here and set it to 100% width. I'll style the background color and add a border radius to give it a softer look. Inside this, I'll add a star rating using the shape element, add a written number value rating and group these all together. I'll then add the customer's quote, followed by their name and where they're from. I'll also include a photo of the customer and a quote icon using the shape element once again. Selecting the quote, image and user's name, I'll group these together so that we can create an auto layout group, ensuring this design works responsively. To do this, I'll select the star rating group, the quote and the customer detail group and go over to the style panel on the right hand side. With this selection, the auto layout option will now appear and we can press the plus to add these to an auto layout group. Now for a touch of magic. Selecting the entire group, I'm gonna add a load animation so that when we get to this part of the page, some movement is added to keep the user's interest. And finally, I'm gonna add a background color and image to the section to add to the soft feel of this design. With our first section complete, we're gonna use this as a base for the other horizontal scroll sections. Now, this segues nicely over to one of my favorite features, which is copy and paste. Now, this might sound quite simple, but copy and pasting is one of the most powerful reusability tools in Vev. It allows you to copy entire sections, the elements within them, and also the add-ons that are attached to them. Work smarter, not harder. I'm gonna take this frame we've created and copy and paste it into the other sections. I'll adjust the text and ratings, as well as the customer's name and information. Then, finally, end it by changing the section's background image. We now have three complete sections which scroll horizontally. If we publish or hit P to preview, we can witness the page in its full glory. You can find the complete template for today's page inside of Vev and to take a closer look at how all of these sections fit together. You can also copy the sections and paste them into your own projects. For more videos like this, check out vev.design forward slash learn. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.